Comsoc is a global worldwide network of professionals um, that are really very friendly and helpful uh, to other members of the society. It's like being part of a club. I'm Gerhard Fettweiss. My name is uh, Roberto Saracco. I'm from Samsung Electronics. Uh, today I'm the director of the Future Center. We uh, uh, work on the communication systems. Well, not only on the wireless communication, I have done work on the optical communication as well. I am full-time back at Stanford, so I teach a course in uh, graduate courses in wireless communications and undergraduate courses in, uh, in communications. Interest in communications are mainly physical layer communications, OFDM, uh, collaborating with good friends in different things that are fun and new. Uh, all of my volunteer activities, um, I felt like I could make a difference and also could try to make the society of more value to its members and especially its younger members and junior members. I was introduced to Kamsak when I was doing my master degree. I was introduced to Kamsak very naturally at the beginning of my PhD thesis. I mean, when you want to publish, you have few events where to publish and Kamsak ones are the premier ones. I've been attending Kamsak sponsored conferences and that's how I got started with getting involved. I was introduced to Communication Society initially by going to what was then called National Telecommunication Conference, NTC, which subsequently became Globecom. I was introduced to Comsoc through, first of all, my PhD advisor, of course. I think one of the, one of the best things that happened to me as a young graduate student was going to ICC 91 and meeting people because once you meet somebody you meet other people and you not only expand your world in general but you expand your areas of expertise and areas in which you can collaborate and it's fun. Comsac is about networking. It's a very friendly society. The biggest value of Comsoc to me was as a community of colleagues and researchers um, that uh, you have as a resource for any issue that you run into. So whether you're serving as an editor in a journal and you run across a problem that you don't know how to solve, you have this whole community of people that you can turn to. So Comsoc is a place where you can meet not just bright and influential people, but wonderful people to get to know. So when you go to the conferences, I think one of the most valuable things in addition to hearing the talks, in addition to hearing the new technologies, is to meet the folks of Comsoc. Comsoc plays exactly the same platform. It is a platform for all of us, starting from a very new researcher in the field of communication to the stalwart guys, to come to a common platform uh, to show their research, their outputs, and possible way of applica application of that to the society, and show the future research path. Also gives me this opportunity of talking to many people in different uh, areas and understand uh, where the world is going, where technology is going. The interesting thing about Comsoc would be that uh, uh, one of the things that it allows you to do is really get a global perspective on what uh, what's going on, not only technically but the professional relationships you develop globally with the, the Com Comsoc, other Comsoc members. Uh, what I think is very important about Comsoc is that it is a platform not only for technology but also for built business. The uh, conferences and the publications have uh, helped me a lot, uh, especially advanced my uh, earlier career that uh, keep me current with the, uh, the latest trend uh, in communication technology. I wish I had a crystal ball. I think there's a lot of cool things bubbling out there and what will be the next big thing? It's hard to tell, but I think Comsoc will be there because everything involves communication. Comsoc will, has and will evolve in, in the internet age. I think that the uh, very technologies that we have created as members of Comsoc have done a tremendous amount to change the nature of the organization, uh, but mostly for the better, I think. Uh, you know, we have more members in more places around the world we are probably the most globalized IEEE society. If you're in academia, if you're in industry, if you're in government, if you're doing anything at all having to do with communications, the Communication Society, which is the second largest society in the IEEE, is something that you really need to belong to. 
uh, it'll have uh, invaluable uh, value to you both uh, professionally and as far as your career is concerned and at the same time you'll get a lot of great personal satisfaction from it. Perhaps uh, I can give a little summing up of what the Communication Society uh, means for me. First of all, it's all the people in it, the people who, who uh, create this knowledge generating environment and that's uh, all of the, uh, the members, uh, the engineers and people working in the profession and it's also our staff, uh, very creative group of people, employees of the society, who make it possible for us to run our conferences and, and publications and standards and technical committees and all the other things that we do. What the society has meant for me personally is a, uh, I think, a vehicle uh, for several things. One, one is to uh, advance my professional competence, become a better engineer, to, to keep track of what are the important trends in the field. Uh, and uh, to sound uh, my ideas and thoughts uh, with not against uh, the opinions of knowledgeable people before I make a fool of myself. And, uh, and uh, also, uh, even larger than this, I think in my life for a very long time now, is to build this very large community of friends who truly are my dear friends all, all over the world.